dear students in the last class we discussed about the three different criterions which comes under decisions under uncertainty okay we discussed about the laplace criterion criterion of optimism and criterion of pessimism now this is the fourth criterion that is minimax regret criterion it is also called as savage criterion okay in minimax regret criterion you have two types of problems that comes under this particular criterion that is maximization problem and minimization problem okay in a question whenever a payoff matrix is given that means it is a maximization problem okay and if a cost matrix is given then we have to consider the minimize it as a minimization problem in both these cases that is maximization problem and minimization problem the first step is to construct a regret table and later you have to follow the minimax criterion irrespective of whichever problem it is okay even if it is a maximization or a minimization problem the last step of this uh, solution is minimax criterion so first in case of maximization problem there is a formula for constructing the regret table so you need to construct the regret table and then follow minimax criterion and if it is a minimization problem that is if the given problem contains a cost matrix then it's a minimization problem in that case again you have another formula for constructing the regret uh, i mean uh, regret table and then again you have to follow the minimax criterion so we will discuss each thing in detail okay now consider a maximization problem and assume that the given table or the given matrix is a payoff matrix okay this is a payoff matrix you have four events and four alternatives given in this particular matrix okay so the first step is to construct a regret table and in case of a payoff matrix the construction of regret table the formula is regret table value is equal to maximum payoff minus payoff okay so you have to remember this is in case of maximization problem the formula for constructing the regret table values or for getting regret table values is maximum payoff minus minimum payoff now you consider the first event that is this first column okay if you consider this first column which is the maximum payoff the maximum payoffs now see the first in first column you have 1000 250 minus 500 and minus 1000 250 so the maximum value is 1000 so according to the formula when you construct the new regret table the first column values you you get it by maximum payoff minus payoff so here the maximum payoff is 1000 so in new table you have 1000 minus 1000 0 so when you construct a new regret table so now you're going to construct a new regret table okay new regret table okay so here you have 1000 minus 1000 you have 0 okay then 1000 minus 250 which will give you 750 then you have 1000 minus minus of 500 which will give you 1500 then 1000 minus minus of 1250 which will give you 2250 clear so that means 1000 minus 1000 0 1000 minus 250 0, I mean 750 1000 minus of minus 5 uh, 500 1500 1000 minus minus 1250 you will get 2250 similarly you have to fill the next column next column if you take which is the maximum value 1500 2000 1250 and 500 you have the maximum values 2000 so 2000 maximum payoff minus payoff so 2000 minus 1500 which will give you 500 2000 minus 2000 is 0 then 2000 minus 1250 will give you 750 2000 minus 500 will give you 1000 500 so we will write that values so you have 500 0 750 and 1500 okay similarly in the third table if you take okay here if you take the third column the maximum value is 3750 so from 3750 you have to reduce each and every value so here in this column the new new regret table you will get mm -hmm. the value as 3000 0 750 1500 again if you take the fourth column maximum value is 4750 so from 4750 you have to reduce each and every value so you will get 4750 why because 4750 minus 0 is 4750 then you have 1750 then 0 
and 750. Okay, so now this is our new regret table. Okay, clear? Now, what is the second step? After constructing the regret table, look at this. First is a maximization problem. You constructed the regret table. Then you have to go to minimax criterion. Okay. So now you have the new regret table. Now you are following the minimax criterion. So in minimax criterion, first you need to find the maximum value and then take the minimum value out of that. Okay. So let's find the maximum value. So what is the maximum value? If you take this first alternative S1, the maximum value is 4750 then here 750 0 0 1750 so it is 1750 1500 750 750 0 so it is 1500 then 2000 250 1500 1500 750 it is 2250 now take the minimum out of this maximum value so which is the minimum value 4750 1750 1500 2250 the minimum value is 1500 and it is corresponding to s3 okay so finally you can write according to minimax regret criterion according to minimax regret criterion S3, why S3? 1500 is corresponding to S3. S3 is the best alternative. Is the best alternative for implementation. Clear? So, in this maximization problem, here you get S3 as the best alternative. Once again, I'll explain. If it is a payoff matrix, it is a maximization problem. In that, first you need to construct the regret table. And regret table value is found by considering the maximum payoff and subtracting each and every payoff from maximum from the maximum payoff okay so here if you take thousand is the maximum payoff so from thousand you have to subtract each and every value similarly for other columns as well so once you get the new regret table then you have to follow minimax criterion in minimax criterion first you need to take the maximum value of each and every row and out of the maximum value you have to consider the minimum value and whichever uh, that minimum value is corresponding to whichever alternative that is considered as the best alternative hope you understood this maximization problem okay now let's discuss about the minimization now take the case of the minimization problem whenever a cost matrix is given so here this is a cost matrix so assume the given matrix is a cost matrix now suppose this is a cost matrix you have four events happening and you have four alternatives okay now here how do we construct the regret table here regret table value is equal to cost minus minimum cost so for each and every column you need to find out which uh, which one is the minimum value minimum cost and from each and every cost you need to subtract the minimum cost value clear so here in this case if you take the first event that is n1 okay which is the minimum cost 1250 minus 500 and minus 1250 here minus 1250 is the minimum cost so you need to subtract this value from each and every value so first one is 1000 minus minus of 1250 so you will get 2250 correct then 250 minus minus of 1250 you will get 1500 then again uh, minus 500 minus of minus 1250 you will get 750 and minus 1250 minus of minus 1250 so here you will get zero clear similarly here which is the smallest value here the smallest value is 500 so you need to subtract 500 from each and every value 1500 minus 500 will give you 1000 then 2000 minus 500 will give you 1500 then 1250 minus 500 will give you 750 and 2500 minus 500 is 0 okay then again here 750 3000 750 3000 2250 so 750 is the smallest value so you will get 0 then 3000, then 2250 and 1500. Again, here the minimum value is 0. So, the, this column will remain the same. Okay. So, 4750, then 4000. So, once you have constructed the regret table, 
what you need to do apply minimax criterion here also you have to apply the minimax criterion in minimax criterion first you need to find the maximum value in maximum value now 2250 1000 0 0 so 2250 is the maximum value then 1500 1500 3000 3000 so 3000 is the maximum value 750 750 2000 250 4000 1500 4000 so 4000 is the maximum value okay here it is 2250 then sorry here the maximum value is 4750 okay not 2050 it is 4750 okay so here out of this you need to find the uh, minimum value in minimax criterion after finding the maximum value you need to find the minimum value now 2250 mm -hmm. 3000 4000 750 and 4000 so which is the minimum value the minimum value is 2250 and it is corresponding to s1 therefore we can say that in this minimization problem according to the minimax criterion minimax regret criterion s1 is the best alternative best alternative okay so that is it here also it is just like the maximization problem you need to first construct the regret table using this formula that is cost minus minimum cost and after finding that you need to apply the minimax criterion and whichever is the minimum value corresponding alternative is selected as the best alternative hope you understood this minimax regret criterion thank you